Well, good morning again. I hope you've recovered from Wednesday and the controversy of Christmas being cancelled and all the background. But I hope you just picked up my heart that just says, come on, let's have a totally new look at Christmas and some of the things that we use in our language and explore it. So today on Friday, I'm going to explore another word that we use quite often at Christmas. Noel, Noel. Can you feel a carol coming on? Well, we often use this phrase, Noel. We sing carols, you know, like the first Noel. And I've often been asked, what does Noel actually mean? Well, there's probably two definitions or two roots and journeys. If you're French, and my French is useless, they say, Joyeux Noël, meaning Merry Christmas. And that modern word, which we've sort of adopted from the French Noël, most probably comes from 1826, where we said Noël, N-O-W-E-L, which actually meant a shout of joy, a declaration of birth, often used at Christmas time. So going back to what I did on Wednesday, this whole thing of this the undescribable gift which provokes joy. Noel actually is an exclamation of, wow, shout of joy, there's a birth, wow, baby's born. But it has been now more associated obviously to Christ's birth. And this root actually comes from the Latin natalis, which is natal, which we get our natal from natalis, natalis, and it means to birth. So, Christians celebrating the birth of Christ used to pick up this Latin word natalis or nowel or the old traditional French noel literally shout for joy there's a birth and this is an extraordinary one other sort of word geeks go through it and say noel actually comes from the French noel um nouvelle which actually means news and they said it's actually this root of announcing good news. And so, again, going back to that popular carol, the first Noel, the angels did say to certain poor shepherds, the meaning there of the first Noel, they say, is nouvelle. It's the first good news, the first announcement. And so there's a sense in that word Noel to make an announcement, to make a prediction. It's, you know, the town crier saying, Hey, hey, Noel, Nouvelle, Nouvelle, it's the news. And so they say that that it comes through the tradition of the English word nail, N-A-E-L, which was used. I don't know, but basically I love either of those meanings. So that wonderful carol we sing, the first Noel, you know, it was published back in 1823 in the carol book of ancient and modern carols and its message was to be a joyous pronouncement this is what the author said i want this carol to be a song of a joyous pronouncement that a king has been born we need to sing the joyous noel and make an example with the angels announcing good news that Jesus Christ is born, not just for Israel, but all mankind, and we can receive our forgiveness to him. So that was William Sandys. And he said, come on, we need to declare, sing. So Noel, we are making a celebratory, joyous announcement of good news of a birth, a special birth, the birth of Jesus. So let me read to you from Luke chapter 2, the famous and traditional passage that we often read in our carol service as we sing Noel. There is a birthing, a special birthing, a joyous birthing, and it is good news. So Luke chapter 2. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census would take place in the entire Roman world. And this was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria. And everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and the line of David 
and he went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. And she gave birth to her firstborn, a son, and she wrapped him in clothes and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available to them. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. And the angel of the Lord appeared to them and said, Glory, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news, or Noel, Nouvelle, that will cause you great joy for all the people. For today in David's town, a saviour has been born to you. He is the Messiah. He is the Lord. And this will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in clothes, lying in a manger. So here is heaven's announcement. The Noel Noel. A baby has been born. Celebration of joy. Great news. You know, long before internet, social media, heaven was still able to arrange a full, complete announcement for the birthing of Jesus. So I just want to pick out a few thoughts from that passage in Luke chapter 2. And I'm going to pick it out from verse 10 when the angel begins to speak about it. And the angel said to them, don't be afraid. I bring you good news. So Luke 2 verse 10, it's good news, it's Noel. I just want to say to you today, Jesus is good news for you. Jesus is good news for our community, our work colleagues, our families. We must never be ashamed of this incredible gift of Jesus. Noel, Noel, celebration of joy of a birth because of great news. The angel said, I bring you good news. You know, in the midst of this pandemic, we can be those angels of Jesus and we can take people good news. We can break just the heavy clouds and just say, actually, I've got good news for you. Jesus is here with you. This time of year, so often, we just reflect on the stories of good news the Noels that have been in our life. So why don't you take a moment, even at your family tables, you don't have to wait for Christmas day, but to Noel, to Noel, make it a time of celebration of joy and share the good news. The angel said, hey, this is good news. Number two, and the angel says, and this will bring you great joy. You know, Jesus is a gift of great joy. And what I love in verse 10 here, it says, and I bring you good news that will cause you great joy for all the people. You see, you know, this is not an exclusive. This is an inclusive. This brings great joy to all people. I don't know about you, but I'm trying to find those perfect gifts. And nothing gives me more pleasure when I watch someone open a gift and I can just see it brings them great joy. And usually as you buy all the gifts for all the family, as you reflect afterwards, you think, oh, there's two or three gifts that you just watch someone go, oh, wow, I didn't expect that. And so all year I try and upgrade my percentage of people just going, wow, that's perfect. And usually, you know, the pair of socks or something happens because you just run out of ideas. But when you hit it right and you watch that gift stimulate celebration of joy, there's something very special. And that is what Jesus, everyone who unwraps this gift of Jesus radiates great joy. He crosses every culture, every barrier, every racial and intellectual background. He connects with every age. He brings joy whether you're rich or poor. It's good news, Noel. It will bring you great joy. And then the angel says, for today a saviour has been born. You know, even today, in your today, right here, a saviour 
has been born for you. A saviour is one who carries all the life and resources you need to do life. How many of you need a saviour? I need a saviour. So what is that pure definition of a saviour? Well, a saviour is someone who steps into your world and rescues you from danger, difficulty. A saviour is a rescuer, a liberator, a deliverer, an emancipator, a champion. He can be your knight in shining armour. He is a friend in need. Or, if we use the more familiar biblical language, a saviour is Jesus Christ, the Redeemer, the Messiah, the Lord, the Lamb of God, the Son of God, the Son of Man, the Prince of Peace, the King of Kings, our Emmanuel given to us. Then the angel said, today a saviour has been born. He is the Messiah, the Lord. You see, the angels announced the promised one, the Messiah, the sent one. This was the end of a season of waiting. It was Noel, Noel, good news, your promise is here. But he's also the Lord. He carries authority, dignity, government. He will rule and take charge. It is an end of a time of insecurity and threat. Jesus the Messiah, your promised one, Jesus the Lord, the ruler, governor, king of kings, he is here. You know, God's got this for you. God is here for you. And then the angel goes on and says, and this will be a sign to you. You see, we need to understand that the Bible gives us signs. Signs are like, um, signposts that show us the way. It starts us on a journey. You know, just like the star appeared for the wise men and they saw the sign of the star and they followed the star and they found Jesus. You know, I believe in your life that there are signs. God has put signposts. There are coincidences that aren't coincidences. There are things that have just happened that make you think. And the angel says, this will be a sign to you. You will find him wrapped in clothes, lying in a manger. I wonder what the sign to you is. What does Jesus look like? You see, there are signs. Jesus has been presented in certain ways for you. And it's a sign to you to catch your attention. He says, read the signs. You see, often these signs are a bit unexpected, unknown, but they're right there for you. So as we come into Christmas, we're entering a season of Noel, a season of great news, celebration, joy, and good news for you. So I wonder if you're gonna follow the signs. And the angel says, there are signs for you, let me pray. So Father, I want to bless everyone listening to this message of hope today. Noel, Noel. And I pray you'll open our eyes to see the Jesus signs that you have put in this year of 2020 and that we will find that saviour. Bless us today, I pray. And I thank you for all you are and we love you. And everyone said, Amen. Well, have a great weekend. And if you've been good and you're trying to, you're going to put up your tree this weekend, bless you. I'm afraid we've cheated. We did it a while ago. God really bless you.